Apple's association suspended after a Sky News investigation found an employee hacking into a machine he was meant to be repairing. Trading standards are now examining the footage of revival computers in West London. Staff at the store looked at personal photographs, passwords, and bank account details left on a laptop computer taken into that store. Well, I'm joined now by the CEO of the Technology Channels Association, that's Keith Warburton. Keith, thank you very much indeed for joining us. How much of a problem do you think this kind of behaviour is within your industry? I don't think it's a big problem at all, frankly. Uh, you will find a few rogue traders from time to time. Uh, some people who will take advantages of the opportunities presented to them. But you find that in, in any marketplace, in any industry. Uh, so I don't think it affects our industry more than any other. We were able to put some software inside this particular laptop which meant we could trace what was happening. I don't suppose that's something that everybody else can do. So how do you know whether your laptop's been interfered with and data, potentially sensitive data, stolen? Well, I think you'd only know uh, that your data had been interfered with if your, if your bank account uh, suddenly started showing transactions that you hadn't authorised. Yeah. Um, or if the other, exam the, the other illustrations of data theft started to occur. So I think this perhaps is part of the background to data theft, uh, but a very small part of it, I believe. Who, who's using these kinds of... Think, I think... Yeah, sorry, Keith, I was just saying, I was just wondering, who's using these kinds of stores? And I'm guessing a lot of businesses use them, because frankly, so cheap now, relatively speaking, are laptop computers. They've almost become, for some people, disposable items. And, you know, when you need to pay 300, 400 pounds for a laptop computer and you face with a potential repair bill of 150, some people will say, what's the point? Particularly if, it, if they run a risk like this, they'll just dump it and buy a new one. And I think that's a perfectly understandable um, action. But in fact, the problem perhaps is that we have so much technology available to us at very low cost and we commit a huge amount of our lives to this technology without thought for safeguarding our data, very often without thought for safeguarding our data. If we were all properly tuned into that, uh, we would be encrypting our files. Uh, but that uh, obviously didn't happen as far as your researcher was concerned. And frankly, most of us don't do it anyway. But those people who are uh, concerned about their data will do that. They'll back up their data because computers fail. Uh, and take proper precautions. But for most of us, it's just too easy to use the technology. We don't think about taking the appropriate precautions until it's too late and highlighted by, an, by a case like this. Yeah. How, how do you change that mindset? How do you get people to start understanding that what they keep on, let's say, their laptop computer is extremely valuable data to a potential criminal and they have to protect it as they would something more physical? Well, I think items like the one that you're running, this news story, are valuable in that. Um, we will do our best, and we do it uh, in our advice to, to customers on our website, that uh, they should safeguard their data. They should be very careful who they, who they give, give their, their, their computers to. Uh, but in terms of, unfortunately, we all have short memories. Uh, we hear about uh, data sticks being lost. Uh, we hear about risks to national security through someone's carelessness. Uh, and we, we heard, I mean, the, the apocryphal tale of uh, Paul McCartney's bank details were found on a computer that went through eBay. We hear about this, but then we forget about it, I'm afraid. So it's a case of a constant message has to go, go out to people. It's part of growing into the 21st century. Uh, you wouldn't give your checkbook to somebody. Uh, together with a with a, a picture of your signature, so don't give your computer with your, all your bank details to somebody. No, lessons to be learned. Keith Warburton, thanks very much indeed. Millions of people across Asia.